Hey all, Carpet Bagger here, coming to you live from the south. This is your carpet vlog for... What day is it today? Oh, August 9th, the year of our Lord, 2017. I got the tire fixed. Luckily, the car rental place pays for it if you get a flat tire, so we're all good. Uh, before we get started here, I want to give a very strong and loud reminder. This Friday at 6 o'clock, Tacoa, Georgia, Boys and Girls Club, I will be appearing at NVW Wrestling. I want anyone who's interested to please come on down, meet me, watch some wrestling. I think it's only $5 uh, to get in. Um, if anyone, um, I may need some help filming, so if anyone's interested in helping me uh, do some filming, I, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, so come on, come on. We need people to come down, watch some wrestling, meet me. It'll be a blast, I promise. Now, we're gonna do something today. I just haven't figured out what. Let's pick a direction and, and start going. Here's something you don't see all too often. We got ourselves a Stuckies. This is a uh, roadside convenience store that has existed since the 1930s. I am outside of Asheville, kind of in the middle of nowhere, and I saw this Stuckies pop up. I'm not entirely sure. I've heard different things. Apparently, they sell candies. I think they're famous for their pecan rolls. Uh, let's just go in and see what Stuckies is like. Your poop is this color. Please see a doctor. There's some zombie heads. It's unquestionably a unique selection of gifts in there. I didn't end up uh, buying anything. I do need to start my Christmas shopping, but nothing in there quite fit uh, what, uh, what I think my wife or my daughter or my son would want for Christmas. But this, I ended up treating myself to a pecan roll. This is apparently the, the famous pecan roll that the Stuckies are known for. I guess we give this a try. It's some weird creamy white stuff in the middle. It's like not quite marshmallow. Mm. Pretty good. Very nutty, very sweet. There's like a lot of sugar in there. A lot of sweetness, but. Yeah, if you if you like intensely sweet nuts, go for the Stucky's peanut peanut. I'm sorry, pecan roll. And do you say pecan or pecan? I had a southern person. I guess in the south they usually say pecan. A southern person explained to me it is a trash can, not a trash con. Therefore, it is a pecan, not a pecan. All right, I am now in Burke County, North Carolina, outside of the Burke County Chamber of Commerce. I heard there's something interesting in here, so I figured I'd swing by and check it out. All right, right here is a space alien. This was a, actually a movie prop used in the movie Alien Abduction. It was a B-movie. I think it was on Netflix and actually filmed at the Road to Nowhere in Bryson City, North Carolina. If you look at his shirt, it says the brown mountain lights that is an actual real phenomenon in the, in the nearby area where lights appear to dance over top of the mountain. Look at that. Whee! 
with these postcards actually feature the brown mountain lights. You can see how they hover and dance over the mountains. Actually, there's some pretty cool footage on online uh, if you're interested in paranormal things. Where they actually put up some cameras um, that monitored uh, the the mountains. And I think they sat for several years and they never really caught anything. But then there was like there's one video where there's like a clear, just like burst of light in the sky that's completely inexplicable. It's pretty cool. I wanted to do a video on the brown mountain lights, but I just don't know how I would. How I'd go about that, or how I would make an attempt to capture them. Right, we're currently in Charlotte, North Carolina, and just check out this ridiculous intersection. Ridiculously dangerous. So much traffic from all directions. But that kind of ties into what I wanted to talk about here. Uh, there's a statue here, a Hugh McManaway. Check him out. He's kind of decked out in a feather boa and, and, and signs and whatnot. See, Hugh here was known as Old Man Traffic. As you can see, he's pointing, directing traffic. Let me get that out of his way. You can see his glasses there, his little hat. Now, Hugh was an eccentric millionaire and you know eccentric millionaires like to do eccentric things you know build castles of gold or you know have porpoises in their bathtub but Hugh he had a more simple outlook a more simple goal and he decided that he was going to come to this insanely busy ridiculous intersection he was going to direct traffic and he stood right here every day for 20 years and directed traffic and when he passed away, he was so beloved that they actually erected a statue of him so they would not forget about Hugh. He lived from 1913 to 1989. This was built by his friends and neighbors. You can see he's actually become somewhat of like a community like signpost. People will advertise weddings or birthdays by hanging them around Hugh here. He's got the balloons. It's always super cool when, when simple people with simple goals are honored and beloved by their communities. In this right here, he's holding a towel. Apparently he would actually wave the towel as a way to like wave on traffic and, and show which way to go. I actually really wish Hugh was still alive because I'm not sure how to get back to my car without getting run over literally playing human frogger at this point. <laughs> Hugh, we need you now more than ever. Here's a tip when you're traveling. Don't drive through the middle of a giant flipping sporting event. Dang it! Look at all these people. They're stinking sports jerseys. They're some sort of Panther-like team playing in the Bank of America Stadium. $50 parking. What is going on? There it is. There it is. Behold the glory that is the peach oid. This thing is magnificent, to say the least. A massive peach. Now, I'd always thought that the peach oid was like this colloquial name, but it turns out. But that is actually the official name, the Peach Oid Water Tower. It holds one million gallons. Let me share a little story with you. I've talked about this before, but now is an appropriate time to bring it up. I, uh, you know, I used to do photos, still photography, on Flickr and my photo blog, and I received. A email from a production company 
and they said, we want to use uh, your picture of the Peachoid. They said, we are working on a brand new television series called House of Cards. So we would like to use your image of the Peachoid in our new series, House of Cards. So I agreed, I allowed them to use my image, and, and I waited, waited about a year. This was about a year before House of Cards came out. And I was so excited when House of Cards came out on Netflix that I wanted to see my image of the Peachoid. And there it was, I think it's like the second or third episode, they discussed the Peachoid. And in the episode, I think the whole, the whole idea is that it distracted someone who was driving and caused them to crash, which is actually something that could really happen. This thing is massive and probably has caused real life fatalities. So, I go in the episode, they have an image of the piece that they're using, and it looks really close to mine, but something's not quite right. So I like go back to my original image and I hold it up next to each other. These are not the same images. And I and I emailed the woman. I'm like, did that was did you use my photo? She's like, nah, we used a different one. And I, I felt like my chance of hitting the big time was completely quashed. And I never, ever watched Game of Never not Game of Thrones. I never watched House of Cards after that point. Despite all that, I, I don't hold any of that against the Peachoid itself. I love you, Peachoid. In fact, I think I'm gonna fly up there and get a closer look. cruising around uh, Charlotte on my way back home uh, and these vlogs these carpet vlogs kind of the idea here is when I'm out uh, traveling towards uh, filming or things I want to film um, I'll film like you know bigger things uh, to kind of get encapsulate them and give them their own video <clears throat> the purpose of the vlogs is to kind of show what I'm doing in between um, and then show me also showing some cool things that are cool and worth showing, but um, don't have enough to them to warrant giving them their own video. So um, before we put this one in the bag, I wanted to um, address a few things. I know some of you rolling your eyes, uh, not wanting to hear about internet drama and all that, but uh, <clears throat> I got an awesome amount of um, outpouring over the last uh, couple days. A lot of really cool emails, messages uh, from all sorts of different people, and, and I really appreciate that. Um, but one way, I, I, was like, I don't want to say it makes me feel bad, but it almost makes me feel guilty because I, I don't want people out there to uh, feel sorry for me or feel pity or sympathy towards me. I don't think I really need that because I'm really happy with my life. Um, I have a beautiful wife. I have two wonderful children. I have 
an amazing uh, home that I purchased last year. I have this YouTube channel that lets me travel and visit things that I never thought I'd be able to, to, to get an opportunity to see. So yeah, you know, so I'm getting some 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 guff and some and some frustration along the way, but it, it's the price to pay. I mean, I, I certainly it's certainly worth. Uh, taking a little bit of crap here and there is certainly worth uh, getting able to do uh, what I've been doing with this channel. Um, the other thing, um, I, I saw, I think I've confused some people. I um, have been doing some uh, live streams that I delete <clears throat> af uh, after I do them. And the idea there is I, I was never intending on keeping these on my channel. I feel like if I... If I leave every live stream up, the channel will get kind of cluttered with, with live streams. And they're kind of clunky. You know, some of them are really long, meandering. They don't have a point to it. Um, I don't know if people are going to bother sitting sitting through them. So I definitely will do live streams that I'll leave up. But sometimes I just kind of want to chat and, and then be done with it. I don't want it just sitting there. And just taking up space, um, and so that's what I kind of been doing. Kind of using it like like I used to use Periscope, um, where I can interact directly with people. But after it's over, it could just be over. It doesn't need to stick around forever. I'm not trying to hide anything. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing public live streams. It's just uh, I just kind of want to do it that way. I just want to because before I wasn't doing live streams because I, I didn't you know <clears throat> didn't know if it fit or, or if I needed to keep it interesting enough to leave up on the channel. But so now sometimes I'll do a live stream that I intend to leave up. And sometimes I will do a live stream that I tend to delete. Don't get confused. I think it was sending people <clears throat> notifications that a new video was up and then when they went there, it was gone. So that's how I'm going to handle live streams, uh, from now on. And <laughs> of course, you know, uh, there's the the trolls and haters out there um, who like to criticize and overanalyze everything I do, and um, some people are making it out like I'm like losing my mind doing these live streams at three in the morning. Um, <clears throat> my day job, I work uh, third shift. I work. Uh, I'm on call from four in the afternoon until eight o'clock in the morning. So I'm working nights. You know, child. Abuse, child neglect does not wait for any man. It doesn't sleep. So when I'm working, I'm up doing things uh, in the middle of the night. Um, so when I'm off, um, sometimes I can't get to sleep because my body's been preconditioned to be awake. And I'm kind of like a night person to begin with. I kind of have that natural tendency uh, to be a night person. So I'm not losing my mind. I'm just awake. And it's no big deal. Uh, it's nothing to worry about. Um... And, uh, and I wanted to go back, you know, like I said, don't feel sorry for me. Don't feel pity on me. You know, I got a flat tire yesterday. That got fixed. No big deal. I didn't even have to pay for it. Um, feel sorry for the trolls. That's what I'm, that's what I'm, that's my new stance right there. Um, if you've been following my channel, I've been, um, harassed several times. I got some harassing phone calls. Um, and two of these incidents... Um, I was able to trace uh, them back and pretty much get significant information um, on the actual person that was harassing me. Um, and I'm not going to dox or, or give out their information because I don't want to get into this peeing contest trying to, to get each other uh, back and forth. I'd rather it just end. Um, but I did want to know who it was that was harassing me, so I gathered as much information as possible. Um, so I have, you know, pretty much everything I need in, in case I do, in case it goes any further and I need to act on it. Um, but the two people that harassed me on the phone, I, I did get a peek at their lives because, uh, both of them actually have videos on the internet, and let me just say it was a it was an eye opening experience. Um, you know, one of the gentlemen that called me, um, I think clearly mentally ill, um, maybe he can't help himself. Everyone can help himself to a certain degree, but but mental illness is 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 a serious, real thing. Um, he shouldn't have called me, but uh, he he had some problems. 
he had way more problems than I have. Um, the other gentleman who uh, was harassing me um, has filmed videos of himself, a lot of videos where he's stumbling around um, drunk, um, living kind of in, in squalor, um, really sad stuff, serious substance abuse issues. And um, I, like... It opened my eyes and it kind of gave me a view on, you know, I'm so, I get mad at these people, but like when I see how they live, when I see what their lives are like, um, you know, wishing, wishing ill on them is, there's no point in it. I mean, maybe a, you know, if, if, if calling me fat or crapping on my videos gives them a shred of happiness in their day, I guess I'll just let them have it because they could, they seem like they, seems like they need it. So for now, um, I want y'all to go out and hug a troll, make, make a troll feel that their life is full enough where they don't have to attack strangers on the internet for a shred of uh, attention and, 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 and happiness. All right, so this one's in the bag.